Hi everyone, I have got a new box to open on my channel. I'm so excited. This box was sent to me for review and I think it's going to be right up my alley. It's the junk journal box. So I am so excited to open this and share it with you. So I hope that you guys stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. Oh my gosh, it means so much to me to have you guys stop in and spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know and I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments are always, always welcome. I enjoy reading them. I know I'm really slow at um, commenting back to you, but I do appreciate all your comments, your kind words. It really does. It really makes my day. And of course, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean the world to me. So today we have got a box from the journal junk box it is uh, for pr so it's from my review i'm so excited to get this as you know i just recently got back into getting back into using my planner i use my planner because i really don't have a life um i use my planner for like scrapbooking a little journaling a little motivation and it just this is coming at such the perfect time because i'm just just getting back into it so i'm ready to go so it comes in this really really cute box it did come with this outer a plastic bag which was really handy because it was pouring the day it came and even though um, I work from home my office is right by the front door I saw the mailman come I was on the phone I did not get off the phone for like 25 minutes and it was out in the rain the pouring rain that whole time of course he could have opened my screen door and put it in between the door and the screen door but of course they don't do that but it was well protected in that bag so Oh, I'm so excited. So thank you so much. It was uh, Papra Del, Del Rosario. I hope I said your name right. That reached out to me through my YouTube email and just offered me this chance to review this box. And oh my gosh, I was thrilled beyond relief to do this. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. It really does mean a lot to me. So this, um, if anybody got confetti box before that isn't there, you are going to love this box. This, um, the full size box here, it's $52 and 99 cents a month. You're going to get between eight to 10 items. You're going to get like maybe journaling supplies, maybe some office supplies, just some stationery, just, um, maybe a lifestyle item or two in there, just a fun box like that. Um, they also have a small box which uh, I know some of the channels get that as well the large channels so that one is like a sack and that one's going to have like four items that one's always going to have a journal a pen a mystery item and then a freebie in there that one's $27.99 if you get this box and the sack um, it would be $71.95 a month they're also nice enough sweet enough Barbara gave me a code if you use Nancy love l-o-v-e you would get 15% off your first box if you haven't done this before so thank you again so much Barbara not just for giving me the opportunity just to give the opportunity to people that watch this my subscribers to take advantage of that as well so again there's going to be eight to ten items in here i'm so excited they change this out every month you're always going to get a journal a pen i've seen sue from reviews from sue open her box for months now and i've been drooling over it so i'm going to love this box all righty so i got this pretty out of side packaging and and this is the july box so sweet happiness rules so we got donuts and croissants and some cupcakes the back of this card is going to tell us everything that's in the box and the value as well as some journaling prompts if you're new to journaling and you wanted to get a start maybe having these ideas might help you get a jump start on your journal and uh, then just a little postcard the junk journal box and on the back it's going to tell you the social media and there you go and um, share an unboxing it looks like it says do an unboxing and be entered to win a chance for a free month so that is always always awesome and again it's got like the Instagram the account the Facebook so you can go and check them out as well 
and um, a little tissue paper, and it says, Hap no, hey, you journal, babe. Yeah, so that looks really exciting. And yeah, like I said, I am super, super excited to get into this. So let's open this up. And we've got those pink little squirrelies. They, they're fun if you do like gift bags and things like that. They're just fun to kind of fill that gift bag and protect any items or maybe if you're shipping, it protects it so you get these nice little curly keys right here. So first item I'm going to take out is a straw. I know there has to be something to go with the straw, so and I'm assuming it must be this. So let's take this out of... And it's like sometimes it's easy to just kind of do these things. Protect it well in some bubble wrap. It's like a nice insulated water jug here. Do your best. A nice top right here. Just really some pretty colors here, like a rainbow type effect. And just kind of washing instructions. Straw that you can put in here so just a nice reminder while you're sitting there working on your journal or your planner or just working at your desk fill this with some ice water your iced coffee whatever sweet tea and you are gonna be good to go for a couple of hours so that is the first item I'll probably do the values at the end of that just to kind of keep moving along and we got this cute Got a nice summer theme. We got that ice cream cone and then like a pink little pencil case here. So if you are doing it's like some journaling and you maybe you take your journal along, it looks like maybe I need to rip this tag off to get the zipper to work. Let's see if we can do that. Let me get some scissors. I'll be right back. I got this baby open. So again, it's like a pebbled kind of leather, full leather probably, that ice cream cone for the summer. And just a sponge to help keep the shape. So this would be great if you uh, maybe take your plan or your journal, your scrapbook with you, and you want to just put some colored pens in here or maybe the roller tape, some the two-sided tape or the white out in case you make errors be perfect to fill that up take it with you if you don't use it for something like that you could always use it for some cosmetics in your pocketbook or anything like that so just a cute little case we got some washi here and this comes in handy just to kind of make your scrapbooking exciting keep it fun get this little squiggly on top we can do some cute washi tape right here and then this little twine here as well like green so that will make it fun to kind of work in your journal just kind of separate some maybe some pages or if you put a picture in there maybe just to outline the picture so that should be just make it fun we got some notepads sticky tabs and let's see if we can get this open so these come in handy, really handy, these little things. When I do paperwork, and because I'm not at the office and I'm sending things back and forth, but I need my bosses to sign things to make sure they see something that's important, I'll put these next to it and see here or whatever. So these just really come in nice and handy. But I think to use them in a journal or your planner or something, it just kind of just adds a little bit of color, a little bit of pop, and just kind of makes it fun so just some fun like confectionery items and some pastel colors so that is really pretty these little post-it notes get some die cuts I think these are stickers as well and there's a bunch of them in here I don't think we'll go through all of them but they are cute I don't know if anybody well probably a lot of you probably have never seen this type of phone of course, for years we just had wall phones and then all of a sudden you could get like a desk phone. So th that was really fun. And I know when they came out with pink, everybody wanted this. But back then, people only had one phone. You didn't have phones in every room of the house. There wasn't those ones. Yeah. So this little bear right here. Could be a little perfume bottle or an inkwell. Got another phone. We got a little bow 
We got a butterfly. The ice cream cone fell. But anyway, so yeah, these are going to be really nice. So we got a piece of pie. Just some really fun things. A little bunny. So these die cuts are just, just kind of make it fun. I think they are stickers that you can take the back off and put them in your journal or your planner or just decorate just some things with so that should be fun we got and because it's an ice cream from a theme box we got a little ice cream scoop and oh gosh I remember using these I worked at Howard Johnson's for years I don't know if there's any left around here but was that 40 years ago it was over 40 years ago that I worked at Howard Johnson's. So I remember having to pack ice cream and make ice cream cones all the time. And then, yeah, later I went into the bar and then later management, but ice cream scoops, they're fun. And then just using them at home too, that just, you know, make a root beer float and you just have a nice shaped scoop on top, really fun. We got these pens right here. Oh my glitter. So retractable gel ink pen. So there's look looks like we got like a kind of pastel green, a pastel blue, a purple, and a pink. So that should be fun if it's not too hard to get into. It's tape. So I will, you know, probably at the end of this, I'll just kind of write something and then show it at the end in a picture just to show what those look like. But I'm sure they're going to be really fun to use. I love using different color pens in my planner depending on what color papers or pictures I'm putting in that month just to kind of color coordinate things. This is perfect. Notepads. I, you know, and I write notes to myself all the time. And I told myself I wasn't going to do that anymore because I was spending too much time making notes. Like I'd have my to-do list um, when I was working at the office and I had my to-do list every day and I would go through that and add to it and cross things out. Something about crossing something out when you finish it off your list. It's just so soothing. And then, but then I'd come home and I'd think, what didn't I do at work today? What do I have to do tomorrow? So I would keep one where I sit whether I'm doing YouTube or watching TV, I would have one there. I would have one going for, you know, a grocery list or, gee, what did I want to make for dinners or just notes like this. And then again, one for what was I going to do at work? What did I need to do tomorrow? I love notepads and the funner, the better. And again, it's the same theme as the box. You've got donuts, you've got cuppy cakeies and ice cream cones. So just really fun notepads i love love notepads and you know and then sometimes i make a quick list to go to the grocery store and i'm going through my list at the phone or and i've got it like stuck on my phone like a post-it pad and i'll take it out just as i'm going through the the aisle and the checkout girl would say to me you know you have a smartphone you can put that list in your smartphone and i said yeah i don't want to i like writing things down i like my post-its because sometimes you lose them and then we got a little journal here so this is sweet happiness rules and again that same theme is on here with all the summer treats even the pop on the back and maybe a taffy and just really fun and the inside oh i like the paper so it is like the not the college ruled paper but the wider lines which i appreciate because i could have been a doctor with my signature because i have got the worst handwriting you have ever seen so the bigger lines for me the better the neater i can write so yeah this is going to really really be fun and i think that is everything that is in my box i'm going to grab my paper and just kind of do a quick recap but for me journaling and i try to get into journaling well about every five years I would try to get into writing a journal, which I thought was, I wanted a journal to motivate me to exercise and to get in shape and to do this and to do that. So it's like every five years, I kind of went into this feeling sorry for myself cycle. And if I can find that video, I'll kind of post it up there. It was a long one, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. But to me, I thought journals we're supposed to be motivational. It's something that you can go back and you read and you want to be motivated. You want to be excited to read it. But you know, in real life, that's not what all journals are for. You could have a motivational journal and that's fine. And that's 
something probably we all need some something grad to just talk about how grat how gracious you are or how thankful you are for something or something that's motivating you to stay in shape or whether it's physical or mental or um, financial just something like that you might need a journal for but sometimes you need those darker thoughts to come out in a journal some people have I'm going to say their best friends or they've got a family member someone they confide in and sometimes our thoughts can drive us crazy if we don't get them out there so sometimes it's okay to have negative thoughts and just not positive feelings and it's healthy I think to write them down in a journal and I think that's what I, I was missing the point of writing a journal because I thought a journal had to be fun it had to be exciting it had to be motivating and a journal doesn't have to be that at all and sometimes just getting your thoughts out even just putting them in a journal that you don't ever intend anyone to read but it just it gets it off your chest it makes you feel better about it because otherwise if you keep everything bottled in you could go mad like the mad hatter here yeah we can go mad if we keep our thoughts to ourselves we can so i brought him out for that but yeah so i think journaling can be anything you need it to be i think sometimes writing down what your issues are what your problems are what is making you sad um things like that you can write that in a journal and it i think it helps make you stronger um it gets it off your chest it makes you feel free it takes that weight right off your shoulders and sometimes that's what a journal needs to be but anyway before i get too long and run out of breath i want to grab my note here so again this is called the sweet happiness rules and it's a really nice journal box so what we have here we have the and of course this was $52.99 and I did get it uh, for PR um, so we got these glitter gel pens these are $7.50 we got this mad ice cream a multi-purchase purpose pouch bag by mad beauty this was ten dollars and 95 cents we got the journal here for eighteen dollars and 99 cents we got the custom notepad this was ten dollars and 99 cents we got the washi and twine set this was seven dollars and 99 cents i'm going to run out of hand so i'm just going to put this down we got the note tabs here do, 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 do. i can't find this one. Oh, so this is two dollars and 99 cents we got a million of these die cut stickers um the sticky tabs was two dollars and 99 cents i will look for this later where is this it's the sticker sticker pack eight dollars and 99 cents we got the ice cream scoop this was ten dollars and 69 cents and the tumbler was 14 dollars so a really nice value if you paid 52 dollars and 90 Alrighty, so I'm back. I got the pens open, did a little bit of writing on the new pad, notepad with it. And I just wanted to say also that on the journal box, the journal pad right here, the paper here is thick. It's a nice weight paper. So using the gel markers, or if you've got markers of your own, it's not going to bleed through. So if you wanted to do little drawings or things in there, or paste things or glue things in here, it's the paper's thick enough. So it's going to hold up and it's going to last. It's really, really nice quality. So anyway, they did give us some journaling prompts. So if you are new to journaling and you don't know where to start, this might be something perfect to do. So uh, for the July journal prompts, the week one they say what does happiness look like to me so just your thoughts on that week two is what activities make you feel happy week five week three was name three moments from the past month and week four 
what do I think are current barriers to my happiness? Which could be just whatever. It could be like me. I've, I've got panic attacks. I'm afraid to go to new places by myself. I can't go to any place that I haven't been to before for myself. I have no idea why, but I, I can't do it. So if I could get get through that panic attack and just wanting to try and do new things I think that would add to my happiness gee you know what would add to my happiness being able to talk more than 10-15 minutes without having to struggle to breathe that would be nice being able to go to the grocery store and spend my time looking around without having to get in and out within 15 minutes before I can't walk anymore that would be nice so it's going to be different for everyone but just those are just some ideas for that so I wrote down and I used the different color pens in here. So the junk journal box, it's $52.99. The value of the items in my box this month was $93.09. And I just wanted to give a shout out and thank you to Junk Journal Box and Patricia Del Rosario for giving me this opportunity to review this box. I love it. So thank you guys so much. And I also wanted to thank all of you for your support. And again, 15% off your first box using the code Nancy Love. And again, I'll have that in the description below as well. And again, I just want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It really does mean the world to me. So anyway, go out, everyone. Take care. Be safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.